한국으로 여행을 오신다면 제가 직접 공주님의 가이드가 되어서 한국의 좋은 곳들을 함께 촬영도 하고 여행도 하면서 좋은 추억들을 또 함께 만들어 드리고 싶습니다. I shall be your tour guide in Saudi Arabia as well. Only if you promise me to dedicate a few days for leisure and to enjoy. If so, I will, I, I will happily take you to the best restaurants. 근데 그때 갔을 때는 저뿐만 아니라 저희 멤버들 SM 어, 엔터테인먼트에 많은 아티스트 소속 친구들이 있기 때문에 그 친구들까지 함께 밥을 사 주실 수 있겠습니까? We're known for our hospitality and that extends to a... we'll actually cook the meals. Don't worry. 와. <웃음> <웃음> 감사합니다. 제가 그러면 한 50명 정도의 아티스트들과 함께 공주님 집에 방문을 Done. 하도록 하겠습니다. <웃음> Done. Sounds like a deal. This is how deals are made on panels. <laughs> Tourism 101. I joined the Super Junior 그러면서 한국의 음식까지 모든 것들을 알아가고 싶다라고 또 말씀해 주셨었는데 그러다 보니까 한국과 사우디아라비아의 거리가 7000km가 넘는 굉장히 먼 거리라고 들었습니다. 그 거리가 정말 우리 저와 공주님이 앉아 계신 이 짧은 거리만큼 더욱 더 가까워지지 않았나라는 생각이 들게 됐습니다. K-pop was first brought to my attention uh, from my 11-year-old daughter. Who actually knew in 2019 that uh, Super Junior were in Saudi Arabia in Jeddah, and she was super excited, and uh, she started introducing me to this new culture, and she actually uh, taught me this, which is a, a sign of love, <laughs> um, and it just uh, opened my eyes to this world of of K-pop. But what people really don't know is that. Uh, Saudi Arabia is one of the 20th, uh, one of the twen top 20 markets for K-pop in mm -hmm. the world. So we have such a huge K-pop fan uh, base in Saudi Arabia, as I'm sure you saw in your greeting at the airport. In fact, today I am accompanied by a young Saudi female who is 26 years old. Her name is Tia, um, and she was inspired by your culture through your music and she learned Korean and she's fluent in Korean and she's actually been living here for the past year and a half. So I would say now uh, she is a citizen wow. of both nations. When we talk about uh, Saudi Arabia, and I think this is very important, people think about two main things, desert and oil. Mm. And, and some people, camels as well. Mm. <laughs> very few people know um, uh, that what makes Saudi Arabia really, first and foremost, are the Saudi people, which you saw for yourself. Yeah. Uh, but just to give people an example, we are, uh, hospitality is built within our DNA. So today when you go to Saudi Arabia, if you go to a coffee shop, for example, and uh, uh, you ask for a coffee mm -hmm. with coconut milk, let's say, the barista who's Saudi will sit and smile and say, yes, with pleasure. They'll make your order, and what you'll see is he'll run out because he doesn't have coconut milk, but instead of turning you back, he'll run out and he'll go and he'll buy coconut milk or he'll share, borrow some from his neighbor uh, a, a coffee shop and just give it to you to not turn you away. And that is, I think, the true Saudi hospitality. Uh, just to bring it back, what also people don't know is that the Saudi people it's a youthful population. Uh, we're talking about 70% of our nation are below the age of 30. Um, and that's a very, very young population. We're, we're, we're led by a very um, young crown prince mm -hmm. as well. Um, and we have big amb ambitions. Our people are very world worldly. Mm -hmm. They're very connected. Thousands of Saudis, for example, uh, uh, are very familiar with, with your culture through uh, the beautiful movement that you have done, which is uh, Hallyu, which is the Korean wave. Wow. They've learned about your culture, about your, they speak the language, they've traveled here. We're very worldly. Uh, our youth is worldly, they're engaged, they're connected, um, and they're very ambitious. And we are a nation that's not afraid 
to support that ambition mm. and invest in our people, whether it be by training or by supporting very creative ideas like the line, which was the new city that was announced in Saudi Arabia. Mm. Really, again, your journey uh, is, is beautiful for me to see mm. because uh, we feel your ambition, we feel mm. your drive. And um, I was looking at some of the posts on Twitter and comments about this session and people were commenting to you that they are so proud of you. And now I understand why after having met you. you. So I, I'm very happy to be here on stage with you because I understand that drive and that motivation. And you're absolutely right how it can bring us together eventually. I see it in the transformation we're undergoing in our country. Um, we, uh, we're going through a major transformation that's made by the youth for the youth. Um, I myself started in, in, private, uh, in the private sector, in banking, at a time where it was the financial crisis, so it wasn't easy. Uh, so I understand challenges. I also was one of the first females to start in the banking sector in Saudi Arabia. Uh, a while ago, and, and the transition also from private sector to public sector, where my passion lies uh, through driving impact for our young people, is something that you do as well in, in, in your way. Uh, and this is something where I feel like we can meet under a common theme, like the theme of this forum that we're in today, which is prosperity and our shared values uh, of friendship, our shared values of freedom. Uh, this is definitely something that we can connect on and meet as people of the world. 사실 우리 한국 사람들이 여행을 가려고 할때 혹은 K-팝을 좋아하는 전 세계 많은 팬분들이 여행을 가려고 할때 단지 여행을 가, 가고 싶은 곳도 있긴 하지만 K-팝 아티스트 분들이 사우디 아라비아에서 공연을 했다 어느 나라에서 공연을 했다라고 하면 같이 공연도 보러 가고 그리고 그 아티스트 분들이 같이 그 여행을 하면서 했던 그런 경로들도 함께 여행지가 되고 있기 때문에 이제 앞으로 향후 미래에서는 그 아티스트 분들의 공연뿐만 아니라 그들이 먹었던 음식, 그들이 다녀갔던 장소들이 세계 유명 관광지가 되지 않을까 음. 생각이 들기 때문에 저희가 이제 앞으로 사우디아라비아에 가서 또 공연을 하고 어, 사우디의 음식을 먹고 거기에 대한 문화를 또 함께 배우면 전 세계의 많은 K-POP 팬분들이 또 사우디에 또 모이지 않을까라는 이런 기대를 하고 있습니다. So when we have people with huge fan bases as yourself, um, we are starting to create packages of the trails of those individuals for people to learn more about who we are. But uh, definitely on your next trip, I'm more than happy to uh, uh, join you and to take you to the really cultural places, to take you uh, uh, to the gold market, for example, to take you to um, al which is the birthplace of the Saudi royal family. And it's actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it's one of six world UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Saudi Arabia. But definitely, definitely, I agree with you that there's a lot of cultural exchange that can take place. And this is what brings people together, because we like to say that tourists are agents of good. Mm. So they are ambassadors. When they go, they go without prejudice and without bias. And as the Korean uh, culture yeah. and pop culture specifically taught us that uh, soft power can be a superpower. Actually, I, there is something that I want to present you with, and it's something that showcases our culture, wow. speaking of culture. So rarely do people know that actually Saudi men wear flowers on their head, the men of the South. Uh, they wear flowers on their head for two reasons, for a reason of beauty, but also uh -huh. for a reason Thank of you. good health. So the colors of the flower gives them good health and the kinds of herbs used. So I wish yeah. you happiness and good health. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 그리고, I love it. <laughs> 네, 선물을 <laughs> 받, 받았으니까 oh. 어, 이 선물을 또 저도 담내로 함께 드리도록 하겠습니다. 한국의 어, 소중한 Thank 선물이니까요. 예. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the exchange of culture. <웃음> <웃음> Thank, you very Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Yeah. Thank you.